Good morning, West Creek Stampers. I want to get on here and show you these cards. Some of you have got, gotten your kits already for January. Um, others are waiting for the paper shares to come in. I'm still waiting on paper for the paper shares. I do have some of them ready, but not for the most part, they're not ready. So... I'm going to show you how these cards go together since some of you have already gotten um, the cards. This first one is made with Darling Donkeys. Darling Donkeys is a stamp set that is available during celebration. Um, it is free with a $50 purchase if you so choose that one. I used Mary Merlot for um, the card base and for these little strips here. Um, these strips are uh, three quarter by four inch long, two of them. And then this pa paper here in the middle is from the textile or texture paper. Can't remember the name of it right now. I try to get all this act together. Um, but I ran this Mary Merlot strip through the Tasteful Textile uh, embossing folder to give it a little um, different look there. Um, I used the Sweetly, I think it's Sweetly Stitched Framelits for the uh, one that the donkey's on. But if you don't have those, you could um, use just any. Um, rectangle or just cut a rectangle. So these are the pieces you're going to find in your kit. On the inside I used the stamp and stamped um, It's Your Birthday. That's the sentiment that comes with Darling Donkey. There's a white center and on the front, Hey There Friend. I used two um, pieces of the white twine and tied together for this right here and I used some um, diamonds um, gems and I always forget the name of them with Stampin' Up but you know what I mean so that is the first card I just love I did pop that up um, if you want to do that on your card and I did color this with blends you could use um any kind of markers, you could use colored pencils. So that is one of the cards. This one is the second one. Um, this one I did for a Valentine theme. And the paper on this one, this right here, is um, the Love You Always. Um, also, I used um, two different types of I did use the foil sheets for some of these hearts, and some of you will get a glitter heart. You will need to punch out all your little pieces. Um, I didn't do that for you. And um, this white section on top, I used the subtle folder to run that through. I have some pink ribbon here, and I um, like the love you most um, more here. So that's what I have done on um, other cards. And this Touch My Heart is a hostess only stamp set in the um, annual catalog. So this card is very simply made. The inside is blank. So you can use that for... Um, not only for Valentine's Day, but you could use that for other um, occasions. Some of you will have a different ribbon in yours. I didn't have all the same ribbon. So that is the second card. The third card is using the Dragonfly Dreams and our Dragonfly Garden. I don't know why I said dreams, and the punch. So that does come as a bundle, or you can get it separately. With that card, you're going to 
um, this this line right here is that is cut with the stitched be mine uh, framelits that set is in the annual catalog that is from last year actually and that's where these hearts came from stitched be mine framelits but this is a straight edge that's in there so your um, card base for this one is the misty moonlight which i do love that color um there's a plain white in the inside and then this paper right here is from the dandy garden dsp and again everyone will not have the same um with that your dragonfly um you can color it in um any color that you want to and i did put a little wink of stella on mine you have a plain white dragonfly and i um there is not a stamp to go with that in the stamp set. I put lines in mine with a black fine line and then colored it and colored the body in. This little guy right here, um, you're going to have a piece of paper in your packet to cut that little guy out. And that paper is, that is from the um, Dandy Garden DSP again. So, um... This card base is one of the little um, special fold. You can do this with any of your DSP. You're going to cut your card base at five and a half by seven and a half. Cut about an inch off the edge, and it doesn't have to be exact, but then that gives you a place to put your DSP here and make it look a little um, special. So the framelits that I used here, I used the stitch shapes for this circle. And for the other one, I used the Tasteful Touches um, framelit for this one. Um, you can color your flowers any color you want to. And you can make this with any stamp set that you have. Um, stamp an image here. Um, color it or or whatever um, whatever particular kind of stamp set it is and then I did use the misty moonlight um, ink here also so uh, hi Diane I do love the dragonflies also they are so pretty and here is that set there are a lot of things you can do with that dragonfly I do have some other samples here that I'll show you here real quick. Um, this is one that I made. This is a special fold. It has a belly band around. I embossed white the words on here. I did case this. I watch a lot of Pinterest and YouTube videos. And then you can use the um, drag Dandy Garden DSP there. Um, the Dandy Garden DSP, the one of the dragonflies, well, the big dragonfly, and um, the next size down, I believe it is, you can punch them directly out of that paper on that DSP. So that is one of the cards that I made. This one is another one, and again, that is that Dandy Garden DSP, those of you who have got the paper share. And for this, um, the um, wings on this one, I sponged the color on, and um, then I stamped a dragonfly on the inside. Here is another one that I made, and... Um, I have a layer of vellum. I stamped on vellum with that one. And I also stamped a regular dragonfly. And I believe I sponged the color on that one on the bottom. This one on the top of the vellum. I didn't sponge any color throughout there. Um, and then, hmm, this one I think is the Ornate Garden. Um, 
framelits and this again is that dandy garden dsp this is one of my favorites this is a little um shadow box or framed top the dragonfly is under there it really wasn't very hard to make and this is the stitched rectangles that I used to cut this frame and then layer that and then stamp the flowers behind and colored them. So that is my dragonfly garden. I do have some other um, donkey ones that I'll show you. This is pretty plain and simple. Um, here is another one, and that paper is one of the celebration papers. That's the Oso oh Ombre. There is a lot of different shades in here, a lot of different ways you can use that paper. So, okay, so let's see here. This one I thought was cute for a kid. Um, it's your birthday, hee I can see giving that to a little boy. I used the cinnamon cider for that. Um, and that is the, um, oh, one of the small paper, six by six paper packs. I don't remember the name of it. The in color, I believe that is from the in color. And then I just cut a strip of cinnamon cider um, cardstock to go across there. Here is another one. With the donkey, I don't think you can go wrong with this donkey. So here is a make, here is a take, a little step up on the one that you have in your kit, and here we go. And here is another special fold on the donkey. This is that fields and flowers paper. This, again, is that fields and flower paper and granny apple green for the background. Isn't he just so cute? And then here is another one. Um, this is a special fold. Okay, I have some cards to show you that um, I earned a free bingo um, with Jody Brackbill, she gave us each three make and take cards for that bingo. I did not win anything, but I got these um, kit for these lovely cards. And this is from the new Heal Your Heart. It is one of the celebration free cards. And isn't that just so pretty? Here is another one that we, uh, and this paper just does it all for these um, cards. And here is a third one. This is from the Fields and Flower um, paper, I'm pretty sure. And I used this one from uh, Free as a Bird, that's that stamp there. Okay, I wanna show you some cards that I got in the mail this week. This one, I believe, got pretty chewed up in the postal system but it arrived um so here we go that is from one of my customers here is one that i got it's a late christmas card and i thought it was very pretty um it has some paper tearing it has a lot of coloring has some glitter here at the bottom and then this is another one that I got in the mail this week. And I believe we made one very similar to this in class one time. So it's probably someone who came to class. I did a drawing from the last video that I did. I actually did a random pick, um, number pick. And Sue Shively won the um, bear uh, stamp set and stamp and spot that was in that video. That is the stamp set from uh, December's paper pumpkin. So Sue, congratulations. Now a couple things to tell you about. 
Hey Chick is coming back. Remember Hey Chick. Um, this is was from a few celebrations ago. So it is coming back and will be available for purchase. So if you didn't get it, um, right now it is available only for demonstrators to order. But um, beginning in February, it will be available for everyone. It has framelits now. And then I also, I ordered this Hey Birthday Chick bundle. And um, it does have framelits with it. And it kind of goes along with the Hey Chick. So um, these are some of the cards. Stampin' Up! gave us some ideas to use with those. And these are a couple of the cards that they have given us the layout and directions for how to use. So let me see here. I need to look at my list again. And... Our Movilis event is coming up. The paper share is closed as far as signing up for that. I'm just um, waiting for paper to arrive, and I'll let you know. I want to thank everyone who did sign up for that paper share. The Thanks Spring with the Movilis Stampers is on February 20th. The deadline to sign up for that and get the extra um, card kit is January 18th. The total deadline to sign up is January 21st. So if you want to be in on that, you do get a um, stamp set with that. And that is Happy Thoughts. And I was thinking I had that. Here it is. Here is the stamp set that comes with it. So that is $45. You get the stamp set. You get everything to make eight cards. If you sign up by January 18th, you will get um, PDF for those. You will get um, to see live tour tutorials, lots of prize patrols, and there will be lots of displays online for you to get ideas. You also will get a raffle ticket for each $30 that you purchase that day, and you'll get a coupon to spend with your demonstrator. So um, let me know if you want to sign up for that. Celebration is in full swing. If you um, you want uh, some really nice paper for free, you can get five packs of 6x6 six six DSP during celebration, uh, in addition to everything you else you get in the starter pack. Um, so if you are curious about that, if you have any questions, um, let me know. You also are eligible to get free items with every $50 purchase. Um, some of the free items in the celebration catalog are a hundred dollar purchase. So I'm going to show you a little bit how you can tell. There's a little emblem on each free item that shows you what you need to get that free with 50. Um, that one is a free with 50. The Omber paper is free with 50. There are... Let's see here. I'm looking for, here's Touch of Ink. That one is free with a $100 purchase. So um, if you don't have the catalog yet, let me know, or you can look at it on my website. Couple other things I wanted to show you about. I love how they have in the back of this new January to June catalog, Everything that's in the catalog is listed back here like an index. So it's not just an index with the name of things. It's an index with the picture. So when if you can't remember the name of a certain paper or a certain stamp set, but you want to find it quickly in the book, just go to the back. And it'll show you what's available. Or if you can't remember which catalog you saw it in. I use this all the time. It's called Catalog at a Glance Index. The other thing that I really like is how they have the bundles 
all separated here. Um, so you can see which stamp sets come as a bundle. And then on the description, it always has where they're located in the catalog. So that's another nice index. Um, the tools are always in the back of your catalog. And then um, everything else, the, the stamp, the kits are always in the front. Here of recent, I shouldn't say always because you never know when things are gonna change. But for right now, they've been putting the kits in the front. And um, I just think that's really nice. It's really easy to look at. These catalogs didn't used to have this nice index in the back. Um, the other thing that I really want to show you, I just saw this on the page. This many messages. This is all one stamp. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about with that, I have found a couple of videos that show you the details. This is all one die. So know that um, I, if I see this on somebody's list, not that I don't want them to get it, and not that I, I do like it, but I just want you to be aware because it's different than anything that we've had before. Okay, I think that's all of what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to um, give you the scoop on the, the card kit. I'll be doing a card kit, I'm sure, again in February. Um, I'll an announce the date soon. I'll let you know as soon as I have those paper shares ready. And uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.